Hey gamers, John here, host of Video Games in the World. As you all know, Final Fantasy is one of my most favorite franchises along many other titles like The Legend of Zelda, Resident Evil, Metroid, Silent Hill, and along many others. So yes, Episode 5 will focus on Final Fantasy, but what I would love to speak about is how some of the main characters who fight against evil forces are mostly underage teenagers or children, which means the episode about this Final Fantasy franchise is Child Soldiers. This is the topic of Episode 5, Child Soldiers in Final Fantasy. Now you may think I'm sounding like, like I have something against a franchise, but actually I do not because I love it, and I love playing many games of the series since playing Final Fantasy VII. My most favorite of the series is Final Fantasy VI. Now people, let us begin the topic of child soldiers in Final Fantasy. Enjoy! While many main characters are in legal age, such as 18 years old or in their early 20s, there are main protagonists and also some party members that are under 18 years of age. And there are so many examples in the main series and other games on how these kids are chosen to go to war against the forces of evil by the crystals or by fate, as it might be said in other games. First things first, we all know that in the real world there are child soldiers in various countries being part of an army that seeks to better the country and defend it by any means necessary. And that is messed up in real life, drafting small children and sending them to war, not giving them nurturing, teaching them compassion, as well as to go to school and education, and last but not least, teach them to question everything as well as believe whatever they want to believe it. The theme with child soldiers in RPG games like Final Fantasy is a big theme not only in other games but anime as well. It has a lot to do with culture though. Most heroes in anime or games tend to be between ages 14 and 18 to 18 years old. However, some of the underage characters in the game want to accompany the main character and his or her party to not be alone and also to try to toughen up in order to not feel weak or helpless in a dire situation. An example being Hope S. Time of Final Fantasy XIII who was mentored by Claire Farron, also known as Lightning. But there are characters who accompany the main character to test his worthiness, a loved one's power passed on after death, accompanying the party along with a family member, not to mention a team of kids who go to school training to become part of the school's elite mercenary squadron. While the rest, they are chosen by crystals or accompany the leader rather than focusing on school and just go hacking and slashing and casting elemental spells on monsters and evil entities and many more. Despite their, their age during their journey, they become stronger warriors and also have moments of self-discovery and many more. But we all know that at the end of the game they could live normal lives or go on their next adventure. Not to forget that bonds of friendship are formed with other party members and there could be a slight romance as well during this journey. There are various good examples of child soldiers in Final Fantasy. In the first game of the franchise, the main characters are implied to be adults. While in the second game, the characters are near adulthood or have adult fighters who are the most capable resistance against a tyrannical emperor. And now, for the examples of child soldiers in the series, here it is. The first example of child soldiers in the series is Final Fantasy III. We all know the story of the game. It's about four orphan youths from the village of Ur that have entered a cave created by an earthquake. There, they fight monsters until they get to the Chamber of the Crystal. The crystal then chooses them to become the Warriors of Light and face off against a powerful darkness that threatens the entire world. Should they fail, then all is lost. So as you can see, Luneth, Ark, Refia, and Angus are in their early to mid-teens that are chosen to fight evil since the crystal has deemed them worthy due to their courage and strength of fighting as one. Final Fantasy IV could also be right up the alley of child soldiers as well, since Rydia in her 8 year old form is just learning how to use her powers as she accompanies Cecil on his journey. She later returns in the form of a 16 year old girl because after being swallowed by Leviathan, she is taken to the land of Eidolons in order to train and use her powers. Why does she return as a 16 year old? 
because time passes much quicker in the land of Eidolons than in the a surface. Palam and Parham are about eight and they accompany Cecil on a test to become a paladin. Then they decide to go with him to Baron and try to stop Golbaz. However, when Cagnasso, the fiend of water, tries to kill them all by crushing them between the walls, the two kids sacrifice themselves by turning themselves into stone. They let her come back to life thanks to the Elder. At the end of the game, they focus on their studies of the magic arts. Of course, there's also Cryo from Final Fantasy V, Realm of VI, and Yuffie of VII. Despite their ages, they can hold out their own. Cryo has the abilities of Galuf that were passed on to her after his death. Realm can use her paint ability to make duplicates of lesser enemies or bosses and fool them into attacking. And Yuffie has the skills of a ninja. While being annoying sometimes, she proves herself as a great fighter. Another best example is in Final Fantasy VIII. Yes, Squall, Selfie, and Cell are students of Balam Garden, and after the field exam in which they go into battle against Galbadian forces and Dalit, they are promoted to Seed mercenaries. Seed is the elite mercenary force of Balam Garden, and those 15 and up can become part of it by participating in field exams. Seems pretty messed up in a certain way since they go to school and become elite mercenaries and go into battle putting their lives on the line, and when they become seed mercenaries, they partake on missions around the world, chopping monsters and enemy soldiers. Irvin comes from Galbeda Garden and is a gun specialist with a cowboy attitude, and is constantly dallying with the ladies. However, the entire party fight against the Galbadian forces under the control of Adea, who was possessed by Sorceress Adele. One of the most memorable scenes is the clash between the gardens of Balam and Galbadia, in which the Galbadian soldiers are either adults or near adulthood, while the Balam Garden students are kids between 15 and 17 years old, and so many die in that conflict. Of course, in other games like Final Fantasy IX and X, there are warriors under 18. Sidon is only 16 years old, and he's been raised to be a thief by Baku. He's very skilled in thievery and battle, not to mention a ladies' man. Eiko is eight years old who is not to be underestimated since her summoning skills pack a punch. Vivi is an eight-year-old mage who befriends Sidon and accompanies him not only as a partner in battle but also to learn more about himself. With a tragic fate during the journey, but he was never forgotten. Titus, Yuna, and Riku are under 18, but they are mentored by people like Auron, Waka, Lulu, and Kamari. Of course, Titus and Yuna develop a friendship and then evolves into feelings for one another. We all remember this moment of theirs like this. <laughs> another example is in Final Fantasy XII. In this game, Vaughn and Pinello are constantly tagging along and they get themselves involved in adult affairs such as joining with two sky pirates, a disgraced knight, and a princess thought to be dead, thus becoming a party with a group of adults on a journey to fight against the oppressive Arcadian Empire and help the princess restore the kingdom of Dalmasca. Next example is Hope Estat theme of Final Fantasy XIII. He's around 13 or 12 years old, and he is being mentored by Lightning. Yes, at the beginning he blames his mother's death on Snow, but later realizes that killing him won't bring her back. Finally, another great example is Final Fantasy Type-0. This game is a real example of child soldiers in the series. Yes, Final Fantasy has dealt with wars against tyrannical and oppressive empires, dictatorships, corporations, and against dark forces that seek world conquest, its destruction, or return everything to the void. Taking place in the world of Oriens, where an elite squad of academia known as Class Zero partake on many missions around Oriens to protect the dominion of Rubrum against the oppressive forces of the Militesi Empire. Class Zero is comprised of a group of students in their mid-teens, and each class in academia are training to become soldiers who protect the dominion. When someone respected in academia dies, the crystal wipes their memories of that person who died. And that is very messed up that the crystal wipes those memories, not giving them time to mourn nor remember the good and the bad 
of their fallen CO or a fallen companion. But of course, Class Zero at the end, depending on the player's choice, would fight till the end in order to save the world from an apocalypse known as Tempest Venis. We all know that most protagonists and other characters in, are in their late teens or early adulthood. But why so many are underage? Well, to the characters that are in their mid-teens, it's because 16 is of age in most of Japan. And most of the world, actually, child soldiers generally only refers to the prepubescent. Most of them are also their only masters, not being indoctrinated, which is usually necessary for child soldiers to, to do anything. There are teen cast members because the game is aimed at teens. On the other side, being underage by modern standards doesn't line up well with the historical standards and aesthetic Final Fantasy draws from an in number of it, from in a number of its games. You need to be 18 to join the US military today, but the Civil War featured a drummer boys who had a real chance of injury and getting pulled into the fighting. John Clem was one such boy who ended up being an, a decorated NCO at the age of 12. And finally in conclusion, while many of the characters are like child soldiers since they're under 18, truth is that they have been taught to survive in a dangerous world since childhood. Some of them go into battle and join the party members of their own free will or because they want to toughen up. Besides, we all know that at the end of the day, Final Fantasy is just a video game. Of course, most anime, manga, and video game characters are usually teenagers because it's like a cultural thing. Hey, the Ninja Turtles are teenagers as well. And in terms of teenage main characters in anime and manga, examples are Saint Seiya, High School of the Dead, Card Capture Sakura, Berserk, and many more. And that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. If you have something to say about this episode, just comment, subscribe, rate, share, like on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, support me on Patreon, and thanks for watching this episode, ladies and gentlemen. This is John, host of Video Games in the World. Have a good one. Bye-bye.